Hey everyone, this is Roger from Almost in Full Color. Today I'm going to kind of show you how to set up a razor rip saw and some of the quartz or little settings you have to do in OBS in order to get it working. Um, setting up the rip saw is pretty straightforward. Uh, there's only one application you have to get and this is the razor app here which I'll put a link in the description to tell you how to download that. And that's all you actually need for this and this was one of the reasons I did buy this rip saw was I didn't like all the software that Elgato got, and I kind of liked the clean look. And at the time, this was the only one that did like a 4K pass-through, so I bought this one. And once you plug it up, you pretty much have the settings here, and that's about it for sound, and everything else is done through OBS. And let's get into there and how to get sound working, because that's the major problem here. So we'll switch to OBS now. Okay, so now we're into OBS, and if you use OBS, this is kind of familiar to you. I'm recording in studio mode so we can see what I'm doing, but I created a scene already called Razor Ripsaw, and like any other capture device, you usually go to video capture device, select that. By default, it's going to show your webcam, but here we go. We have the Razor, and that's most of the setup, but when we actually switch to this view, which I'll do here in a second you're going to see that we won't really have sound. So here's the switch. And yeah, that's quite disappointing. So let me switch back. And what was kind of missing here was that there was added video capture device sound, but that was not set by default. So there's no sound bar there. There we go. So I made the picture smaller for y'all so you could see what's going on. But here you see the video capture device is not set up correctly and we're not having any sound come through. So that's usually the problem everyone gets very frustrated with. And there is some settings that you could kind of do, but I couldn't figure out any through these video output stuff here. So what I ended up actually doing was going into my settings and going into audio and I just created a new mic uh, called the Razer Ripsaw HDMI and there we go we got sound and when we do the recording which I'll switch to in a few you will hear that the game actually comes through so let's do that now and here we are we got sound and we are able to stream so the Ripsaw is a lot more easier steps to go through in my opinion but there is that quirk that seems to happen with sound, and that was the best way to help with that. So I hope you enjoyed this short little video, and I'm going to continue playing some Fall Guys. And that is the Razor Ripsaw in a nutshell. Uh, please like and subscribe, and check out our other videos on the channel. Peace.